Now you can direct the hair or the fur with the curve using guide curves node. It is compatible with the new procedural hair system of the Blender 3.5 and it is completely free. Hello everyone, myself Kuldeep Singh. In this video, I'll show you how to use this guide curves node with the procedural hair system as well as a normal node. First, you have to download this guide curve node. You can freely download the guide curves node from my Gumroad page. However, if you want to support this channel, you can buy the paid version. You will get these extra nodes, procedural particle system, field nodes, memory falloff node and falloff tracer node. Uh, from this link, you will get the zip file that will contain this blend file along with other blend files and this has the guide curves node these are the utility nodes and this is the guide curves node to use this node you can either append this node from this blend file or you can copy this blend file into your asset folder and use that node as asset i have already copied this blend file into my asset folder so let me first show you that so if i add a cube and here this is the guide curves node if you copy that blend file into your asset folder okay or even if you search you will get that okay so we have this new file let's add a plane keep in mind that the guide curves node demand a decent number of subdivisions for the input mesh to sample the curve so this is enough so now let's append that node into this blend file go to the append then navigate this blend file double click on that then go to this node tree and we have to append the guide curves node let's add a fur to this plane so let me select this then go to the curves and add the fur so let's go to this top view and we have uh, this fur on this plane and so this is the new object these are the modifiers for the procedural here so let's add a new modifier and then we have to type the ks guide curves node and from here we can select that so first we have to specify the surface in this case we have this plane which is used by this far object or the curve object so select this plane now we have to specify the guide curve so let's add a curve so let me select this one and pin this one so now select this bezier curve see these hairs are aligned along this curve for better visualization i am going to move this modifier just after this interplate here modifier and i am going to also disable these modifiers so it is better to see these see these hairs or the far is following the curve let me select this curve if we go to the edit mode let me delete this curve and we can draw any kind of shape these here will follow okay let's draw a spiral the settings are very simple first you have this length basically to sample this input curve then you have this factor to control effect of this node and after that you have this uh, smoothness factor for the tangent and normal if the curve is complicated like in this case or have multiple spline then these settings are very important to smooth the transition between different curves after that you have direction settings you can switch the direction for the tangents and the normal and these are the mix factors to align these hairs along the tangent normal and the surface normal let me make this zero and now if i make this zero all the hairs are following the tangents of this input curve or the guide curve if we make this one then these hairs are aligned perpendicular to this uh, guide curve and if you type 0.5 then they are 50 percent following the tangent direction and the normal direction if we go to this uh, side view you can see that all the hairs are perfectly aligned into this plane However, if you want to align these hairs along the surface normal, you have to increase this surface normal mix factor. Let's type 0.25. So now they are following the curves as well as they are aligned along the surface normal. Another thing is that this node generate a guide curve distance attribute that you can utilize in the hair material. These are the settings for this guide curves node. Now I will show you how to use this to guide the curves. So we have this basic scene, we have this uh, plane which is subdivided by this number of times. Then I have distributed this curve onto this plane, something like this. 
now we're going to use the guide cards node let's add that first we have to specify the surface in this case we can directly use this plane to specify the surface and next we have to specify the curve so let's add the guide curve and then select that curve see these curves are following the this guide curve and one thing i forget is that let me draw a different shape like this and something like this suppose in this case you want to create a gradient you can easily do that by just adding a more curves in this side see nicely blend and create a nice transition from this to this so this is it about this node if you like this work then please do support me you can buy my presets or you can support me through my patreon page so until next time happy noting bye